uh, hello in this tutorial we are going to learn how to configure an ipv6 in rhel so let's go to the device so this is my device if i type if config hyphen a it will display all my ip addresses and all my interfaces so here you can see this is my interface which i am going to configure and uh, this is at a particular IP address, IPv4 IP address for 9.46 and uh, here you can see another IPv6 address this is a link local address you can see this same address, IP address, IPv6 address appearing in all other interfaces so you can count it out this is not, a, uh, this is not the IPv6 configuration which I am going to talk about this is by default you can see it in all interface it's called the link local address okay so uh, so let's start configuring ipv6 so this is step one in uh, step one uh, by default if you get an rhel just you just need to cross verify whether these are enabled if it's enabled we have to remove this entries so, so in the step one we'll just do it We'll go to the particular location so here you can see a lot of files some blacklist and all these stuffs I'll just go to blacklist dot corners yeah a lot of entries are there just make sure that uh, uh, in any of these files this many this particular entries are not there if you have installed fresh RHL mm, probably this won't be there uh, otherwise I'll recommend just to cross verify this so we'll move to the step 2 uh, step 2 is just uh, uh, enabling uh, IPv6 IPv6 IP tables I'll just copy this and just uh, execute this paste okay I've started uh, so what it will does is that it what it does is that so uh, it will start the ipv6 tables whenever the system boots up by default so we'll go to the next step in this particular steps step uh, we need to put a put this particular entry in this particular file so we'll just copy this file do less so here you have all these details just need to add uh, this particular entry in it uh, networking ipv6 underscore yes so vim slash etc sys config network in the okay there you go I've added it we can save it so this is done now we can go to the step 4 uh, this is the main, main step in this particular file you need to add this particular entry so there you go copy this come down to the this entry go so copy this particular file carefully sorry this particular okay and now remove the hash entries and all this enable enable the line particular line okay there you go so we have put the entry Now to cross verify this uh, we have a particular command to do this. This is the particular command. 
is to cross verify our entries been effective so there you can see that two particular entries have been active sysctl iphone p does that okay you can see this is the entry which we put in this file and here are the outputs now we go to the next step 7 just copy this let's see the output so here the ask is that in this particular third entry it should be here it should be v so, uh, so and tc whatever this uh, tcp 6 and udp 6 this particular entry should be v third column this is the third column first second and this is the third column okay so that is also done by default you don't have to change this by default it will be like this only okay uh, now uh, we need to go to the particular interface where we have to configure that uh, the ipv6 so here i'll go to that particular network scripts less yes. lot of interfaces are there so we were telling we are going to configure in uh, this particular interface PR0 so we go to that particular PR0 so some configuration is there uh, so we'll just edit this copy this uh, IPv6 in it yes then we'll just put up the IPv6 address and the default gateway IPv6 default gateway control shift V okay there you go so our configuration is done now we need to do this particular thing we need to mix we need to stop the network manager sometimes okay stopping failed last time i did the ipv6 configuration without stopping the network manager it didn't work out so I wonder what's wrong here okay let's, let's just check it out whether configuration has been effective so we are going to restart the network okay, here you go. This is taking some time. Okay. Some warning has come. Okay, let's see. Here you can see here you can see this is the ipv6 address right now so so that's all now we have successfully configured an ipv6 uh, in rhl uh, thanks for watching guys
Thank you. Bye.